So today we have our first two big tests of the season against Roma and Juventus. Um, let's let the misery begin, shall we? In the heart of northern Italy lies a town steeped in footballing history. Welcome to Vercelli, home to one of the most storied clubs in Italian football, Pro Vercelli. Languishing in the lower leagues as its once glittering legacy faded into obscurity. But now, a new chapter is about to be written. A chapter of redemption, revival, and triumph. Get ready to witness the rebirth of a footballing legend. This is Football Manager 24, the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Hello and welcome back to the Pro Vercelli Chronicles. Since you were last with me, we have played a few games. We lost 2-1 uh, to Monza with Mox getting our only goal. Um, in the fourth minute, they came back about half-time to make it 1-0 and then the second half got another goal. We then drew with Palmer 1-0 and I was starting to panic. I thought, here we go, here's where the losses start. Mox getting our only goal to equalise just after half-time. Then we faced Genoa and won 3-2. Volpato getting a hat-trick, including a penalty. Um, we were 3-1 up. For a lot of the game, well, we were 3-0 up, should I say, for a little bit of the game. But we were comfortable in that one. We then unfortunately lost to Udinese 3-2 with Baitqua and Zach getting our goals. And I need to change his name. Uh, next, surprisingly, beat Atlanta 3-2 with Volpato again getting another hat-trick. He has been on fire. We then beat Cagliaria 2-0 and Sam Greenwood getting a brace there. So, for today's game against Roma, we are going to change his name to... Uh, eight bit. Why not? Uh, eight bit, because his name had bite in it, so I prefer eight bit. Anyway, I don't know. There's no logic behind it. It's just a name. So we have Sinazaro. In goal with Murphy, Piaz, Dakil and Ferreira at the back. Zach and Trevor in midfield with 8-bit Greenwood and Volpato behind Mox up top. Um, still got a couple of injuries, as always. We're going into the game balanced, as always. Um... And what we tend to do is move it one way or the other from there. We are probably going to lose. It's just about trying to hold on and not lose by too much. Which is easier said than done. Shut up. Um... So here we go, boys and girls. We are in white, obviously, and it's get played out. And that is a poor, poor shot from Roma there. Roma are, are directly above us at the moment in the league. Um, they should be good enough to beat us. But the way that we've been performing has been short of remarkable. Our team is not good enough to be doing what we're doing. 
But here is Volpeo and plays it to Zach. Zach, oh, and it's off the bar. Oh, oh, oh. So we're, 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 ah. it's difficult, isn't it? To know exactly what, what's going on. But yeah, over the weekend, um, after 11 years of domination, Bayern Munich have been toppled by Bayern Leverkusen. Um, Yeah, Bayern Munich have toppled, been toppled by Bayern Leverkusen. Um, Alonso's done incredibly well there. Uh, again, though, he's, you know, we, we've got some exciting young managers and his name has got to be up there with the best for what he's just done. Um, I mean, you look at that and think not only has he toppled the big boys but he has also um done it with a team that realistically were nowhere near where they ended up i mean we had in uh around the world in 80 clubs obviously we we played with stuttgart and um, we know it wasn't easy to beat them even then. So, and they were on a bit of a downward trajectory um, in that save. So, it's definitely interesting. And Murphy has just... Um, Not looking too hot. Uh, is he? Okay, we're going to bring Simic in. Yeah, we'll play uh, Simic, I think. And while we're here... Valupo's looking tired, but I don't really want to bring him off. As he has been one of our better players. And remarkably, how are we won all, by the way, as well, whilst all that was going on? That is insane. I think I spoke too soon. Please don't punish me. Oh, why? Why do I open my mouth? How are we one nil? We're playing quite well. Bang. Every time you open your mouth. <sighs> They've been unlucky. Um... We are going to bring Velopa on for Ram. Sorry, we're going to bring Ramzan on for Volpato. They've got a free kick. Anthony. Come on, get rid of it, guys. Come on. Close down, close down, close down. That's it. No, don't. You did the hard bit and then just gave it to them. Let's be realistic. Probably should never win this game, but... Still... Not good. Speaking of which, Juventus all the way down in 11th. It's interesting. So, here we go. We are... 
Simic really doesn't have any footballing ability by all accounts. Um, yeah, they've they've got another one. But Semic is playing incredibly bad since coming on. I'm not going to bother making any changes. Um, we've lost, haven't we? But here is a goal kick. And can this go? No, we're still just going to play it out from the back. And give it straight to them. Wow, they should have scored that. So it's all over. Um, they should have done a lot better than they did. They should have been more... Um, let's go on. And things don't get any easier. We've got Juventus. So the game against Juventus, we have Sinisalo in goal. Esperad... Pieri, Dakil and Fieria at the back. Zach and Trevit in midfield with 8-bit Greenwood. Valpato behind Mox up top. Um, Murphy is out for seven or five to seven weeks. He's got a broken wrist. Um, which I'm not sure why you couldn't play with a broken wrist. After a day or two, you just put plaster on it and play. Surely, you don't use don't use your hands in football. But hey ho, um, so we're up against Juventus, who are having a bit of a troubled season. So you would think it's going to be hard game, but you never know. We may be able to uh, do something. FM, hello, are you listening? Hello, FM. Oh, my word, we're going to be one of those seasons, is it, where every time I say something, the game makes me look like a wally. Here is 8-bit, plays it to Volpato. Volpato, can he get a ball in? He cuts inside himself and it's off the crossbar. Wowzers. And we've managed to keep hold of the ball. But the highlight ends. That was insane. And we've got another throw in high up the pitch. And remember, this is this is away at Juventus. So we're in our lovely green kits. Apologies if you're colourblind and cannot see the players. But um, they are there. And at the moment, the ball is with Pieri. Plays it into Zach, to Mox. Mox is through, plays it to Greenwood. Valbato has hit the post again. Eight bits gathered. Unable to get the ball into the centre, though. Now Juventus come away with it. And Juventus have players streaming forward. We need to stop this attack. They've... We've managed to get it held up, but they are still there. But Volpato's now got the ball, and we're on the counter. And the highlight ends, of course. We're just going to drop some encouragement. I think, as I say, we're playing quite well. Um, shame we're 1-0 down, but... We've had a couple of opportunities, which is promising. And the rain has started falling, but they are just playing in around the back. But we've intercepted, and Esteban plays it back to Trevor, to Zach. What can Zach do? Zach plays it into Mox, and it's just over the crossbar. Wowzers, we 
we are doing ourselves proud away at Juventus, considering where we are. Before this game, I actually had a little look at past leagues, like seasons, and every season so far, 35 points has you clear of relegation. So we are only 15 points or so off of that. So it will take a lot for us to get relegated this season. Um, we are 10 points clear, 11 points clear of the drop. I would say we should be safe, but we will see. I am going to pump fists. I know we're underdogs, but we can salvage a draw from this match. We are only, I know everyone is here, has more left to offer. I know we're underdogs here, but go out there and give the fans a performance. You know what? I'm actually going to outstretch arms. I'm happy with the performance so far. Keep it up. Because all in all, I cannot have a go at them. They're 1-0 down away at Juve. Now, that that's good play. I mean, chances are we are going to get found out in this second half. But, you know, to keep it us within a, with a chance within, well, now an hour gone and we've still got a chance of potentially getting something from this game. As 8-Bit's got the ball, plays it back to Sinazalo, Pieri. Can he find Sinazalo, Pieri, Trevitt? Trevitt plays it to Dakil. Dakil to Volpato. Volpato plays it through to Mox. And Mox is through and Mox has scored. You beautiful. Yes. Oh, boys and girls, that is unexpected. Great play by Volpato running through, slots the ball through to Mox, and Mox, calm as you like, puts it in the back of the net. Wowzers. Um, only issue is now our players are getting tired. We're going to have to make some changes. So, what we are going to do is bring Coltis on, and Pierre is going to go out wide. Fierre has also got to come off. So, we're going to try Simic. I don't really want to try Simic. We're not going to try Simic. We're going to push Zach back there. Um, and Helgerson can come on for Zach. Calgaria. We're going to bring Yanazai on the left. We're going to bring Ramnissan on on the right. And we're going to leave it there for now. But, boys and girls, we are one all. And that's offside, unfortunately. And they've got a break on here. Sima. Sima to Moretti. Moretti. And it's off the post. Get rid. Ooh, Zach's going to gather that and play it back to Dakil. And hopefully we manage to get it clear because the highlight ends. And now we've got the ball with Helgerson to Costas. Costas to Trevitt. Trevitt back to Sinazalo. Out to Dakil. Dakil to Trevor, Trevor plays it across to Zach. What can Zach do with it? Plays it down the wing to Ramasan. Ramasan plays it into Mox! Oh! Holy jacket potato, boys and girls! Oh! We are doing the unthinkable now. Um, now what do I do? 
Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Um, I think we bring our defenders back, go to two up top. Greenwood can be an advanced forward. Mox can be a target forward. Uh, we make them wingers on support. We drop these back. Um, we go to cautious. Drop the tempo, play for set pieces. Um, we're not going to time waste yet, but we are going to regroup and then counter. Uh, we're going to drop the high press back slightly and go to a lower slash mid block. Get stuck in. Right. We are going to try and hold on for the last 20 minutes. Eight, ten minutes left. Sinazalo's got the goal kick. Please don't be there, highlight. We are now going to add time wasting. We're on the final ten minutes. Oh no. Offside? Question mark? It's not, is it? And we've got a kick off highlight. I will be happy with a draw, so, I mean, it's not the end of the world. The only reason why I went defensive was because a win would have been astonishing. Oh, get away. And here was me after, you know, we had a really good 10 minutes of uh, play there where it looked as though we were going to hold on. But I guess inviting Juve onto you is not the smartest thing to do in the world. And I think we know now that we can't, Drop back. Oh, we were so close to a Vic. Oh, why is FM such a cruel mistress? Oh, I thought we would do. Oh, it's horrible, isn't it? FM at times. Why does it do this? Is Greenwood to Marx, who's Shoots just wide and it's all over. 
Oh, wowzers. We could have won it. We ended up losing 4 2. Good effort, lads. I'm not going to knock you. We were just beaten at the end by better physical players. And with that said, join me tomorrow as we face Inter and AC Milan in the Milan double header. Things don't get any easier from here. I'll see you for tomorrow's episode. If you've enjoyed that, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. I've been the Masked Manager. Until next time, I have spoken. <laughs>